So seven are set to go to post. Right now, let's go up to track announcer Roger Houston. And Peach Pit, seven of the finest mare trotters the sport of harness racing has to offer in the Breeders' Crown for $300,000. There they go. Off and trotting fast out of the gate, the seven Peach Pit on the outside between horse the six Mighty Speedy down along the rail. The one me Maggie racing fifth up on the outside as a race around the turn. Going off stride, going to the first watermark. Kester on top of the field by three lengths. It's Peach Pit and John Campbell as a race around the turn. Mighty Speedy racing second at the rail. Opening quarter in 27 and 4 fifths. The end of the lane, passing it into the first time. Peach Pit shows the way. Mighty Speedy racing second down along the rail. Lumax review is third. Racing fourth, me Maggie. Fifth at the rail, the end of the turn. Free token, racing six. At soaring action, treading the field. Kester following the early break. As the race around the turn, Peach Pit leads the way. Past the halfway point, 58 seconds. Racing to the back side, out and moving on the outside and moving up. Lumax review. Now third, now second and closing in. Mighty Speedy as third, out and moving on the outside. Me Maggie now fourth, fifth on the outside. Soaring action, racing six down the back side. Three token, treading the field. Kester, the end of the turn in the three quarter mark. Peach Pit leads the way. The outside, Lou Max review. Three quarters, 127 and three. Backside, 29 and three. A little more than an eighth of a mile. Me Maggie about to go three wide. Down the stretch they come. Peach Pit with the lead. Me Maggie set three wide. Lou Max review between horses. Coming home, it's me Maggie on the outside. Racing second, Lou Max review. Peach Pit at the rail, it's all me Maggie. 158 and two. Finishing second, the three, Lou Max review. Coming on to be third after the early break, the two, Kester. So that's back-to-back -back Breeders' Crown victories for me, Maggie, who won the three-year-old Philly Trot last year and now captures the Mare Trot. She was only one for 11 this season. All of her races were overseas, but Gary Seibel, she took a liking to Ladbroke at the Meadows. Well, me, Maggie, a daughter of a former Breeders' Crown winner in practice, and right now we are going to take a look at the stretch drive here. Peach Pit at the rail, desperate to hang on. Lumax Review is there, and on the outside, Me Maggie, obviously, full of trot and coming on strongest of all. You may remember last year, Bruce, that Me Maggie benefited from a break by kind of a hush, kind of a hush, a, a definite winner. Me Maggie came on after kind of a hush made a break, but not the case tonight. Nobody made a break on the front. It was all Me Maggie strutting her stuff to the wire. Very impressive here in 158 and 2. So indeed, Me Maggie makes it two in a row, and this one completely legitimate. Me, Maggie, from the first crop of Prakis out of the Bonefish Mare Grass Bed, owned by Arndon Homestead Stable, the Gary family, trained by Bjorn Berglund of the Continental Farm Stable. Me, Maggie, your race winner in the Mare Trot tonight. Presentation made in the winner's circle by Bob Becker of Certified Vacations. Me, Maggie, raced exclusively in Europe this year, but against very good company, including Esquire Spur, Nashville Opel, and a worthy lad. Let's take a look at the returning prices. Me, Maggie, 1260, 940, and 380. Lumax Review, 1960, and $4.80. And Kaster, who put in a monster mile after breaking early, $2.40 to show. Time of the mile, 158 and 2. Here's John Pavlock in the winner's circle. And with a mud splattered but very happy Burton Lindstedt. Bert, it looked like a replay of the first trot we saw in our car tonight where you came three wide at the turn. She was awfully strong. Yeah, she is very good. And uh, as I said before, uh, she's unbeaten at Meadows. Let's take a look at her as she turns for home. She's going to go out in the middle of the racetrack. Uh, better footing there, or was that just the place to take a shot at the victory? I have a very good trip behind the two horses there, and uh, they're both tired, and I saw that they have a shot in the last turn there. 
I noticed as she stood in the winter circle, she was uh, dripping a little blood. She apparently got into herself, clipped herself with a, an opposite shoe. She's all right, I'm sure. I hope she is. Uh, she hit the knee and never did that before. I don't know why. Congratulations. Back-to-back -back victories. Very impressive in the off going tonight, Bert. Thank you very much. Also with me here is Peter Gary, the owner of Me Maggie. Uh, she's been hiding in Europe this summer, but uh, it's good to have her home. Well, no, she hasn't been hiding, nor am I the only owner. Uh, my father is the senior partner in our, in our stable, and he's really responsible for uh, all of our fun and involvement in this. And uh, I'd like to tell you that tomorrow we would take her out to Max Hems Farm to put a world record on her in an amateur race, but no, she's going back to Stockholm. Uh, Peter Gary himself, a great amateur driver. <laughs> She is going back to Stockholm. Is that the plan to race her there for the balance of her career? Uh, our plan is to send her back there and hope that she develops now into a good five-year-old. And, you know, we love to race and we love to drive. And, uh, you know, we, we compete against your man, the voice, uh, Roger the Dodger up there. And uh, I'd like to say that we'd like to prepare her for next year's amateur races. But I think we got to send her back to Europe where she can really compete for, uh, for the honors. Very good. Congratulations all around. Let's go back upstairs to Bruce Beck. So here's a look at how they finish Me Maggie, who is bred by New Bond Street Stable and Castleton Farm. Your race winner, Lou Max Review, is second. Kester, as who broke very early, finished third. Then it was Peach Pit, Soaring Action, Mighty Speedy, and Free Token.